from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big Sunday, 4th of July morning here on LA with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats want you to have and why there may be more months of checks, OMG. Then in the second part of this video, we go over the fourth stimulus package and why there may be other money in the fourth stimulus recon for you than additional to those stimulus checks. Wow. Then we cut to next week and the Democratic leadership have prepared you to know what's going on and I'm going to brief you on what's happening next week. It's all wonderful news. Then we cut to fifth stimulus recon, which heats up with another stimulus check and raising your benefits up a lifetime. And then we turn to the thousands of dollars the viewers continue to get. It's your day to get it. If the coffee is brewing, the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. The red, white, blue, and purple are here. And this is the 4th of July edition of Maureen's Alouette. Fourth of July and happy birthday, America, and hope you're having a beautiful Fourth of July weekend. Wishing you and your family a beautiful Fourth of July celebration today. Wow, how's the weather where you are? Jump in the live chat right now and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. I have the red on. Uh, you know, it's it's for the fourth for the fourth of July. It's also Sunday red uh, for golf, uh, crypto down, and um, you know it might be for a particular baseball team, but I don't want to get in trouble. Sorry, Canute. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not for Kansas City. So it's definitely it's definitely not for Kansas City. In this recording, we'll be going over that monthly stimulus check. How much those Democrats want you to have and why there may actually be more months of checks. Then the second part of this video, we go over the four stimulus recon and why that recon may be giving you more money than initially thought. OMG. And then we turn to next week and why those Democrats are preparing you to know what's going on for next week. And I'll be briefing you as well. We cut to fifth stimulus recon for next year, which gives you another stimulus check and raise your benefits up a lifetime. And then we go over the big money that viewers continue to get, like $12,000 to $22,000 from Nisi. This is LA, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoon. I'm next back with you with Mornings Crypto right after this video. Then we go into noontime at 11 a.m. Then afternoons L8, evenings L8, eve overnights crypto, Evenings Crypto at 7 o'clock, Sirloin back at 8 o'clock, and then our overnight shows. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Next up, 1 million. Like this video because every like that you deliver delivers a side of applesauce. <laughs> and consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Let's get right into the details starting right now. That fourth stimulus monthly from both the Senate and the House has some deliciousness to it and a big surprising new twist. We did not see this one coming. Here we go. House bill pandemic plus one year. Oh boy, that is where we're going to be focusing on in this recording. Senate approach is July to December. Let's go over the payouts. Payout for the House is 1000 per month after the first month, 2000 Senate monthly is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Oh, wow. Now that's deliciousness. $2,000 over six months, $12,000 a person. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400 a person. Now, it was less than a week ago where we were saying the pandemic may be considered over for legislators, and that would reduce you to just, well, $13,000, 12 months of checks. That's not how we're starting the new week on, however, folks, because now there's enough people saying that the pandemic is absolutely not over. L.A. County, pandemic's not over, they say. Warren Buffett, head of Berkshire Hathaway, pandemic's not over. The airlines, business travel's not back. They say the pandemic is not over. So if that's the case, who are you going to vote for? House, 
which is going to be potentially more than 12 months of checks, more than $13,000 versus Senate. And this, <laughs> I think I have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now. House of Senate, House of Senate. Tell me who you're voting for and how's the weather. I want to see you voting House of Senate and your opinion may be different than how you voted no less than a week ago today. <laughs> wow. Who gets this fourth stimulus check? Democrats want everyone who got third stimulus check to get a fourth stimulus check. Single individual, 75000 or less. They want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less. Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check is a check that is not income so it's not taxable the forced stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone and the forced stimulus check um comes monthly it does not come in waves so if you see the check at the skateboard park today trying to try out the new skateboard and you try to wave at the check it's not going to wave back hey check how you going i see you're trying the new skateboard bounce bounce oh ouch i guess it's a bounce check <clears throat> There you go. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Jack. Ooh, uh, ambulance. <laughs> It's just, it's a bounce check. Uh, the Democrats represent, they're going to give you a check in the month of July for the month of July, and it will not be a bounce check. <laughs> <laughs> the check will come in the month of August for the month of August, and the check will not be a bounce check those Democrats represent. And they also represent they're getting into a vote as ASAP, not, won't, be, won't make that July 4th date, but I'll go over what they plan for next week. It's all great news. But boy, there you go. In the second part of this video, we'll be going over why the four stimulus recon where your checks are may be giving you other money that we never knew before. <gasps> This is starting to sound like third stimulus. It is. <laughs> and then in the third part of this video, we go over what those legislators told us going into the weekend about what they're doing next week. It's all wonderful news. What you need to know preparing for next week. But first, let's get a preview of the second half of this video and it's fifth stimulus. It has another fifth stimulus recon. It has another stimulus check for next year. Wow. And raise your benefits up a lifetime. Oh my goodness. And there's new economic data about that today. Wow. We'll be cutting to that next but first, let's get some money. If you're in the live chat and you've got money from this channel, jump in the live chat right now and post what you got. If you're new to this channel, this is what we do here. We do not hold up a calendar and say the word when. We don't do that. We, ca we say the word what. We're here to get cash. We're here to cash checks, not track checks. And when third stimulus was called for a vote in spring of this year. People were saying, I'm getting a $14 stimulus check. And I said, no, you're not. You're getting $14,000 on this channel. Because under third stimulus, there was a lot of other money for you under third stimulus. And you could still get that money. And I want to congratulate you, the viewer, because you're just doing such a great job. You're seeing it in the live chat right now. Post it right now. We have Nisi who got $22,000 from three items from this channel. We have Art, who got rent, utilities, and SNAP. We have John. These are just people in the last week who got $12,000 for SNAP for his family. We have viewers daily who are getting $3,000 for utilities, ten dollars to $12,000 for rent, that are getting five to $8,000, five to $12,000 for SNAP. What's going on? Get that pen and paper ready. I'm going to go over how you can get that money as well. That's what we do on this channel. It's sort of becoming similar to December of 2020. In December 2020, we were waiting for second stimulus to pass, and it wasn't yet, not yet passing, and you need money. And money is money, folks. We don't care what it's called. So long as it's money, it's a lot of it. And if you get it, you're just happy. And that's what we did in fall 2020. Second stimulus was not passing at that time because it was December. But I got viewers a quarter million dollars of money. People like Tyrone got $12,000, excuse me, $14,000 for his family for in Boston. Paid all his bills all throughout December. So get that pen and paper ready. Evan must be a Crayola crown. Understand, this is not case, this is not Kansas City color. It might be for another city, but I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> and it's not muddled red either. <laughs> Get that pen and paper ready. We're going to go each over all these different places, and each place has different eligibility. So if one says no, reach out to the next. First ones are your city hall, your city housing authority. You're going to reach out to your county hall, your county housing authority. Your state hall, your state housing authority. The key word you're going to say is, I need rent assistance because of COVID, or mortgage assistance or utility assistance because of COVID. And the rent is about five, six thousand dollars, about five thousand dollars of rent. But you know, I've been wrong with that. Uh, viewers are getting ten to twelve thousand dollars for rent. 
And you're going to say things like, when you call them up, mortgage or rent or utility assistance because of COVID. Those are the key words you say. Uh, you don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or a Mitch's mixtape drop date. <laughs> they don't know those words. <laughs> Ouch, my ear just hurts thinking about that. <laughs> So don't say those words. They don't even want to hear that. Uh, yeah, they, they don't even want to know that. <laughs> so there you go. And congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful mo money. The next pot of money is Snap. And you saw in this channel, in this video, where John has gotten $12,000 for his family for, congratulations, John. What is Snap? It is money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. It pays for your money for food. How much does it pay? A fortune. A family of four in Hawaii now gets upwards of $16,000 a year because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raised your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. Lynn Glenn got it herself, her son and her mom, Gail, got it as well. Viewers are constantly getting five to $7,000 for this. And you're killing it. We are only 11 minutes into this video. And you're getting $16,000 for SNAP for Family 4 in Hawaii. $5,000 for rent. The check on that skateboard, uh, you're not killing it. You're just bouncing. It's just a bounce check. No one likes a bounce check, uh, except Vladimir Putin. <laughs> and let's cut to the next pot of money. And it's money coming back from your states. The states have been ordered to return money back to you due to unemployment and a computer error. <laughs> Not your computer. Uh, the federal government has said it's the citizens' money. So where are you getting a direct deposit? Uh, check that direct deposit that you have on file with the state. When are you getting that refund check due to computer error and unemployment benefits? Reach out to your respective states. Say, hey, state, when am I getting back my, back my check to overpayment due to, due to your computer error? And um, can you track it with a computer that actually works this time? <laughs> And finally, the last pot of the money is the refund check from IRS. If you got this as well, jump in the live chat. Every time you jump in the live chat and reveal to other viewers what you got, it inspires them to go get the money. It also informs me, you know, the numbers may be a lot more higher, a lot higher than I thought they were. And apparently they are. And let's go over all the details. How much, when, where, and when, how is this happening? Congratulations to Cod, Margaret, and Michael who got this as well. First, let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of total taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit otherwise in the mail. When? This month. Can you track it? Yeah, about 70% of the time you can. Go to iris.gov. Do a transcript search. And when you do a transcript search, it'll reveal stuff that you never knew. It'll reveal some stuff that you really don't want to know. <laughs> it'll reveal the tax return you file, the taxes you pay. Um, who is the backup singer for Mitch McConnell's uh, debut rapped album? <laughs> It'll reveal, um, is $12 ice cream as untasteful as $1 ice cream? <laughs> And then finally, it'll reveal the check you're getting back from IRS. Oh, my goodness. Can we top that? We can. As we go into the second part of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 starting right now. Now, what's important for you to know with this channel is that how they do this is so critical. There is key words that we don't do on this channel. We're not donut guys. We do not do stuff like when in my hands, when in my, when, when, when. We don't do that. Why? Because if you do it wrong, when means nothing. And here's what you need to know. Three and a half weeks ago, there was only a recon that had stimulus checks in there and roads and bridges. It was a big, massive recon. And if you had heard they're calling the vote at that time, you may have done a victory celebration dance in the corner and said, oh, wow, they're calling the vote. We're finally getting our money. And you would have learned, no, no one's getting money. It didn't pass. What? At the time, the recon was too big. And so celebrating that a vote is called is not grounds for celebration. You have to celebrate when the vote is called on something that actually works. Three and a half weeks ago, the president, Nancy Pelosi, and the Le Leah Schumer all met and determined that the recon was too big and it would never pass for a vote. If they called for a vote, it was going to die. It was too big. And finally... It came to a fruition, not this Wednesday, but two Wednesdays ago. They had the determination. They would take roads and bridges out of the recon. And by taking it out of the recon, it shrunk the recon. Honey, I shrunk the recon. The movie with uh, Rick Moranis, beautiful movie. Honey, I shrunk the recon. Uh, and suddenly the recon became passable. Then that is when there was a time and opportunity to now say, oh, we're heading in the right direction. Before, 
calling the vote for a recon would have killed it. It would have died. So what happened? They spun roads and bridges out of the recon into something that's called the Bipartisan, its own spinoff series. Roads and Bridges were in its own spinoff series called Nash Bridges. <laughs> With Don Johnson, with that beautiful Barracuda, Plymouth Barracuda. You know what? Send me a DM. I'm ready. <laughs> Just give me the address. Uh, no, it was called Bipartisan Roads and Bridges. Your money still where it was in the recon. All your money still in the recon. But the Roads and Bridges spun out into the Bipartisan. Two, no, three important, critically important things came from doing this. You've already saw the first one. Number one. By spinning off the bipartisan, the recon became passable, meaning now the recon was something that people would approve for if it was called for a vote. Before then, it would not have. In fact, this is not just from me. This is also from the GOP. Was um, Mitch set up? Yeah, of course he was. <sighs> Mitch doesn't read lips, so, you know. Uh, I, I, Mitch does read lips, so... <laughs> So, um, yeah, um, Mitch, you were set up. So there we go. Um, here we go. There's a beautiful article in a conservative publication that covers um, politics. They do good reporting, although it's very slanted and opinion-ish. Um, but they have an, an op-ed recently in the last few days, which was starts very obvious. The first few lines are obvious. And then it basically repeats what I just said to you. The title of the article is The Republicans Should Never Have Done the Bipartisan. Um, the first line of the op-ed says, the higher the recon was, the harder it was to pass. There you go. And then it says, by allowing the Democrats to take some parts out of the recon and put it into the bipartisan, it made the overall recon smaller. Well, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, in other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon now passable. <laughs> wow. Uh, they, the Democrats, excuse me, the GOP has nothing to uh, gain by blessing the bipartisan because basically they made the recon pa now passable. Sorry, Mitch, you were set up. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that is the first wonderful thing. The second wonderful thing is that suddenly your recon got an identity. Before it was called recon where it had roads and bridges in it. Now the roads and bridges are out of the recon. They're down the river. They're in the next zip code. They're past, you know, they're past the liquor store. They're, they're in the next town. Uh, but before that, when roads and bridges was with your money, the naysayers just had a field day for it. There's nothing in there for you. It's just roads and bridges. There's nothing, there's no stimulus. I haven't heard anyone talk about stimulus. I just hear about roads and bridges and roads and bridges. Well, um, those naysayers who <laughs> are not the viewers of this channel, uh, you know, they just sort of don't update their information until every glacier melts. <laughs> And since the last glacier has melted, they have not updated their information. So they're still hearing, you know, roads and bridges. There's no money in there. And well, suddenly, finally, someone helped us with this. And who was it? Mitch. <laughs> yeah, just he doesn't think right. He came out and trash talked the recon, which helped the, the naysayers get silenced because finally people understood the recon was always your money. The recon was always your money. And the and the roads and bridges were <laughs> roads and bridges. So what did Mitch say? Well. Um, that recon is horrible. It's a democratic wish list. It's a progressive check fiasco. It's a, a smorgasbord of progressive socialism. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. You <laughs> just explained to the American people what's in there. Which brings us to the third wonderful thing, and this is what's really happening that's now wonderful, is that now that roads and bridges are out of the recon, there's a lot of space. Honey, I shrunk the recon. I shrunk the recon. Now that they shrunk the recon, now the roads and bridges are out of there, there's a lot of excess space. <laughs> and guess what happens when there's a lot of excess space? People start adding things in there. And we have now seen where the progressives have now said, we're giving the American people more money in this recon. So they're adding more stuff now into the recon now that roads and bridges are out? Yes. You don't believe me? Here are the quotes. <laughs> Uh, Elon Omar says, we have a commitment that regardless of what happens with the bipartisan, we they will, Congress will give us a recon that goes as large as we want it. <sighs> then there are reports that the Progressive Caucus has been repeatedly telling the White House that it will not support the bipartisan unless the recon goes huge. Mm -hmm. Then there's Representative Richie Torres, who is a Democrat progressive out of New York, who says, I refuse to vote on the bipartisan unless it's linked to a very, very large recon. And he wants housing in there. 
housing. There's one viewer last night in one of the live chats said, which house, what type of housing? I don't know. They're just beep, beep, beep. Oh, do you hear that? Beep, beep. That is, that is the U-Haul truck. It is the U-Haul truck backing up. Bernie's driving it. <laughs> the progressives are driving it. And they're about to open up the back of the truck and they're about to drop more progressive policies into the recon. Because now that four stimulus, now that, that roads and bridges are out of it, they can. And finally, the protection of recon. Fort Recon is being protected. Here's something sort of obvious, but I have to remind you, is that the recon is written by Democrats, for Democrats, to be voted on by Democrats. GOP is not writing the recon. GOP doesn't want the recon. Vote, GOP is not voting on the, well, they're going to vote against the recon. They're not voting in favor of the recon. So it's, I have to keep on, although it's, it's not, it's sort of obvious, I have to repeat it because it's, it's not inherently clear to some people. The recon is being written by progressives for progressives. And now that they have complete protection for the recon, they're going big and bold. It's the bold and the beautiful. Just, you know, the 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 the, 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 the politics version, not the soap opera version. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, ironically, we saw this protection from the progressives in quotes, not days ago, but weeks ago. They were setting this up. They were setting this up. Uh, Jalapal and Schatz, both in separate interviews, over two and a half weeks ago, said that the White House had told Jalapal to keep on doing what she's doing. And that Schatz said the White House said the progressive priorities in the fourth recon are the White House's own priorities. There you go, folks. This was brilliantly set up. How do we get to this point? From Jalapal. Jalapal had written Schumer a letter saying, call the vote, Chuck, on the fourth stimulus recon. Now, that letter was signed by 12 House Democrats who were among the 100-plus House Democrats who had written... Uh, Sh Schumer letter saying, the president letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package. Wow. Can we top that? Yes, we can. As seven House Democrats on the House Ways and Means subcommittee wrote the president letter saying, Mr. President, when we write for stimulus recon, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in there. Wow. Now, notice how I slowed that down for you. The fourth stimulus recon is a recon written by Democrats for Democrats, who's writing the recon part of the checks. It's the House Ways and Means Committee represents they are, and that House Ways and Means Committee is the committee who wrote the third stimulus recon that gave you a stimulus check, and represent they're writing the fifth stimulus recon to give you a stimulus check next year. Oh my goodness, more about them later in this video. Can we top that? We can, as the president three weeks ago yesterday went overseas internationally to get a provision about international taxes signed into the books to help pass fourth stimulus recon. Now, if you, <laughs> if you notice a little trick, uh, Mitch, you were set up. If you notice a little trick here, um, the president originally told the American people that recon, which at that time had roads and bridges in there, needed to be paid for by raising corporate taxes. I'm, sm I'm smirking. Uh, why? <laughs> because now that the roads and bridges are out, <laughs> How are roads and bridges being paid for? Well, not with corporate taxes. How is the recon, your checks being paid for? By raising corporate taxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just sort of a nice way to pitch the American people that let's raise some corporate taxes f to pay for roads and bridges, when it was really, let's raise some corporate taxes to pay for some progressive policies. Yeah, you see how this is all sort of tricky, tricky. Yeah, it's now that we have the two paths, the recon is paid for by corporate taxes, as it always was, and now that roads and bridges are out of it, it's still being paid for by corporate taxes. How, what did the president say? Well, he said that if I raise corporate taxes, corporations may move overseas to where the corporate taxes lower. So he reached out to those other countries and said, hey, raise it up. So then he reached out to his staff and said, staff, let's go visit these countries in December and bring them some of Dr. Jill's potpourri. And the staff said, Mr. President, it's Europe. They do things different. <clears throat> you can go visit them in June and bring them potpourri now and drive on the other side of the road. <laughs> he said, oh, okay, yeah, let's go do that. So he went and met them in June and had them sign on the dotted line which anchors for stimulus recon to the edge of the finish line because now corporate taxes don't need an international provision in for stimulus recon. It's in the international agreement, making it easier to pass for stimulus recon among the Democrats who wrote the for stimulus recon, who want the for stimulus recon, because now you don't need those provisions about international taxes in there. It's just 
easier to pass the recon. Wow, now that is clever. Can we top that? We can as we go into the third and final update of Force Stimulus Recon after the commercial break, as we go over what they're doing next week, how they told us going into the weekend what they're doing, and how you need to be informed about how they finish this off. Then we turn to Fist Stimulus as well. But first, something even more wonderful, the volunteers. They're available on Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit, and Instagram. How do you find them? You go to the community page. Where is the community page? Open the description of this video. You'll see a picture of an emo you see an emoji of a house. An emoji of a house. Uh, next to the emoji of the house is Nancy's place. <laughs> no, 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 that's not, no, no. Next to it is a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. Click on the link and it'll send you to the community page. It has a picture of kitty cats. Lower on the page are the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them to get rent, utilities, snap, internet. If you've seen those people in the live chat posting what they've gotten from this channel, if you haven't posted, post it right now. And if you see them posting and you haven't gotten this money, it's your chance to get this money as well because those volunteers are salt of the earth. Now, they cannot cook you a tostada. Uh, they cannot get you front row tickets to Mitch's concert. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot get you earplugs to Mitch's concert, <laughs> but they can certainly get you this big money. And I will be back in 60 seconds for you. Here is the big exciting details about the volunteers. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Mornings LA. The toast is toast and the coffee is brewing. I'm here, you're here. And the fourth stimulus check update continues in the second half of this video with the exciting details about the voting process. We'll be going over how they call the vote, which is more critical than when they call the vote. We'll go over what they're doing next week and what they're doing to get this to the finish line. We'll be cutting to fist stimulus as well with another stimulus check across the board. And this is Ally. Make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers are YouTube record. Next stop, 1 million. Hit that subscribe button right now. Happy 4th of July if you're just joining live in the chat late today. And also like this video. Every like helps deliver better algorithm results. It also delivers extra potato salad on 4th of July. And consider becoming a member. Coming up next is Morning's Crypto, followed by Noontime at 11 a.m. Then we go into Afternoon's LA, Evening's LA, Overnight's Crypto, Evening's Crypto, and then Sirloin. And let's get to right to Fifth Stimulus right now. Fifth Stimulus is getting very exciting. First, there will be a Fifth Stimulus check. That Fifth Stimulus check will be coming next year from the same subcommittee. The House Ways and Means subcommittee that's doing your Fourth Stimulus recon will be doing a Fifth Stimulus recon they represent. And that stimulus check will be for next year. Number two, the president dedicated $1 trillion billion to the Social Security Administration to ensure that your checks in the future come out on time. We certainly saw the debacle, third stimulus. Now, Fourth Stimulus, this stimulus and your monthly checks will arrive on time. If you're missing by side, but as a side note, your first or second or third stimulus check, you have to one, file a tax return and two, request it on the tax return. You haven't done both things, you have to do it, go to a tax preparer. 
Finally, let's go to the big exciting details, which is the raising up of your benefits under this stimulus. Now, you have learned pretty well from this channel how this works, and now the question is, how high is high? First, they're going to raise a lot of the uh, reforms of this SSI system. By starting by raising your benefits, removing the asset limit, implying the applying the inflationary benchmark, removing the income exclusion, and removing the marriage penalty. Let's go over what happened on Friday this week and what's happening next week, which gives us indication of how high this number is going. First, you've learned from this channel that under fist stimulus, they'll do the reform by first raising up everyone's benefits one time. Who is you? You. <laughs> if it's if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, SSA, Multiple Benefits, or Calcino Benefits, they represent they're going to raise all your benefits up one big time. You've also learned that they're going to apply that they apply a benchmark every December. And you understand that that benchmark is for next year's benefits. You've learned that the new benchmark will be inflation. And you've learned that inflation's going up. And then you've learned from Jay Powell's comments on this channel, your head of the Federal Reserve, that the inflationary rate in December will be the highest point of the entire year. Wow, now that's wonderful news. So how high will it go? Well, that's the only thing that's left to see. And on Friday, the new payroll numbers released showed that job creations were hot. Hot means inflation's going up. On Wednesday, the late lumber numbers dropped 40%, the largest drop in one month ever in U.S. history. That's because home sales are now surging. Also as well, that shows inflation hottest additionally. Meantime, we had the consumer price index, the producer price index in the last seven days saying inflation's really hot. Well, that all signals that Wall Street may be accurate, that inflation may be going to 10% from 4% approximately right now in December. Let's check that number. If that's the number, then your benefits would step up an additional, with that benchmark, 10% next year. And that's not just next year. That's lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. If the year after that, the inflation rate is 1%, then your benefits will be plus one, 10%. Wow. Now that's wonderful news. Then they're going to move the asset cap, dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 in hand. Now you'll be able to have some stimulus checks in your hands and room for some Crayola crowns. <laughs> they're going to move the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work. Now you'll be able to work and stay on benefits. And finally, they're going to get rid of the marriage penalty. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear loss of marriage, loss of, <laughs> loss of marriage, loss of marriage or loss of penalties, uh, loss of benefits, I should say. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear the marriage penalty. And there you go. That's this stimulus. Now, if you're watching people in the live chat post that they got all these big sums of money, like Nisi of $22,000 or John of $12,000, and they have a purple hawk next to their name emoji, what's going on? They're members. And by becoming a member, you get access to all the beautiful information that you can learn how to get this money yourself as well. This is money coming from third stimulus. When third stimulus was passed, there was a lot of money for you to get more than a stimulus check, and that money is still there. So consider becoming a member so that you're delivered daily from me to you, a breakdown of all the monies that are in third stimulus for you to get, so you can be another Nisi and get 22,000, or Art and get three items, or John and get $12,000 for Snap. It's important to get this money and get it now, because that's what we do on this channel. Which brings us into the final update of your fourth stimulus check of 2021, starting right now. The House Ways and Means Subcommittee and the House Budget Subcommittee going into the weekend did us a wonderful service. They told us what's going on next week. And what was their statement? That they're in sesh, that they're in their subcommittees next week working on the recon to finish it. This is wonderful news. Here's what you need to know is that there's a building, it's called Congress. And in the building are offices, and in those, in addition to offices, are subcommittee rooms. Well, these legislators made very clear before we went into the weekend that they are in town next week. They're not just in town. They're not just in their office, but they're actually in the subcommittee working on your recon all next week. Why is this so important? 
because if you were with me in July of 2020, you saw I had to make hundreds of videos because there was a fake narrative out there from a notable conservative publication that took the expression in session to tell to the American people that congressmen were out of town and not doing anything, literally not even the zip code, not even in Washington, D.C. Here's what you need to know if you weren't a viewer then so you understand what's going on. In that building of Congress, there's two rooms. There's the House floor and the Senate floor. When the rooms are open and they're in there voting, it's called in session, I-N-S-E-S-S-I-O-N. -S -S when the rooms are closed and the doors are locked and Nancy has the key in her earring or her hair or somewhere, uh, then they're not in there voting. What's that called? Not in session. Here's what you need to know, is when the doors are closed, that does not mean they are out of town and in the South Pacific uh, kayaking. <laughs> and that's what the, the fake narratives were last year, this time, that they're not in session voting, hence they're out of town, not doing anything. No. When they're not in the rooms voting, they are down the hall in their offices working, or in this case, in the subcommittees, subcommittee. <laughs> And here's what you need to know, is that the core of these legislation is done in the subcommittee. The subcommittees, when they're meeting, are drafting and finishing the drafting and calling things for a vote in the subcommittee. When they call things for a vote in subcommittees, there's not a lot of pomp and circumstance. There's no press release often. There's often no, you know, Twitter announcement or pageantry or marching band that they call it a vote. In fact, they may have already called a vote. So the fact that they're in the subcommittees is where they're working. And that's why you need to know this. Additionally, the President of the United States, Nancy Pelosi, and Leader Schumer are the three people who are responsible for, are the three people who have authority under the Constitution for ordering the House or Senate back into session to vote. So if any time that they're not in session, they can be ordered back into vote to session. And that's not that should not create an imagery in your mind of someone that has to fly transcontinental across the United States. No, they're just down the hall. <laughs> I'll see you in five hours. We're back in session. We're voting. Okay, I'll finish up my tuna sandwich and my uh, my you know my lobster. Uh, yeah, that's all it means. So there you go. Um, which brings us to the most important thing, which is how they vote on this. You will see on this channel that it's important to note that how they vote on the recon is the most critical thing, not when they vote on the recon. Because if you're a viewer, not a viewer, <laughs> if you're not a viewer, if you're someone who's passing through that has never watched any of the videos on this channel and just wants to say, when, 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 I'm holding on my donut, when, 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 and all you say is when, you're going to absolutely get zero. Why? Because calling the vote over two Wednesdays ago, when the recon had all that other stuff in there, it was too big before Honey, I Shrunk the Recon, would have resulted in not passing. And when it doesn't pass, you get zero. Next, next problem. You cannot call the recon after the bipartisan. What did Mitch say? Call the bipartisan for a vote right away. So if you hear the recon being called for a vote, don't celebrate unless you know it's being called the right way. It has to be called one of two ways before the bipartisan or concurrently with the bipartisan. Now, finally, understand that Jalapal, who wants you to have that monthly stimulus check, actually slipped up because she issued a statement last Monday talking about something 10 days before last Monday. Well, you can do math quickly in your head. You understand the recon was only separated from the bipartisan, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday before that. That's more than 10 days ago. Excuse me, that's more recent than 10 days ago. She said this last Monday, that 10 days before last Monday, which puts it before the recon was separated from the bipartisan, she had a meeting with her caucus to poll them on how to vote on the separated recon and the bipartisan. She slipped up. <laughs> she sort of slipped up. She sort of made it. She sort of said something she should have said. She basically revealed that they've been talking about how to call this vote before the bipartisan was separated from the recon two Wednesdays ago. She said, we did a poll of our members and the overwhelming majority of our members said that they're not going to vote on the bipartisan without the recon going for a vote first. <gasps> they've been preparing this, folks, every single step of the way. 
keeping it very quiet for Mitch. And then Nancy, of course, made it even more obvious. There ain't going to be no bipartisan vote unless we have a recon bill vote first. And yes, as I said, there won't be an infrastructure bipartisan vote unless we have a recon bill vote. Plain and simple. And I, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be a bipartisan bill vote and we ain't going to have a recon bill vote passed by, until we have a recon bill passed by the United States Senate. And there you go. Next week, the subcommittees continue to work to finish it. And calling the vote the correct way is the critical way, with now potentially more stimulus checks and a lot more recon for you than initially thought. And this has been a big morning's LA. And I'm next back with you, Morning's Crypto, right after this video. Then we get into noontime at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, both live broadcasts this 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to you and your family. So subscribe to 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. Next stop, 1 million. Like this video. The more times you like the video, the better the barbecue will taste today. And consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino, VIP, so you get access to all the big money that you can get because we're cashing checks on this channel, not tracking checks. I want you to be the next DC and get $22,000 as well. Stay informed, stay focused, and join me next on Morning's Crypto starting in two